We are back with the men's black belt heavyweight final. We've got Felipe Andrew in the blue gi representing Alliance. Adam Wardzinski in the white gi representing Checkmat. Both competitors have been on fire at this 2023 pants. Really excited for this one. Felipe Andrew, two matches, two submissions so far. Adam has had quite the performance as well. He competed in the open class. Also had some great matches here in the heavyweight division. Wardzinski in the half guard. Looks like he's setting up that, almost like he's setting up that old school half guard sweep with the arm underneath the shin. Felipe Andrew on top. Wardzinski the half guard, or sorry, the butterfly guard master from Poland. It's been very fun watching Felipe compete in the heavyweight division this year, dropping down from super heavy. Won the 2023 Europeans and has looked incredible at the pans. Two fights, two submissions leading into this final. Yeah, Felipe with a nice cross face there, trying to pin Adam's hips, trying to get to a good position to pass. Wardzinski doing a great job of maintaining that right arm under hook, trying to make space. Nice little transition to the knee cut. Let's see if Felipe can put his hip down and secure this guard pass. Adam trying to get to his knees. Felipe driving his hips back down to the mat, gets his three points. Felipe Andrew up 3-0 in this heavyweight final against Adam Wardzinski. Adam doing a good job recovering that top leg to get his guard back. But Felipe has the lead early here. Nice long step attempt by Felipe. And it looks like his pass points were called back. He is just gonna get an advantage for that pass attempt. Looking for another pass now. He's feeding the lapel grip. Great head position. Good pressure here from Felipe Andrew. Adam Wardzinski being coached by Lucas Leitch over here. One of the best half guard players to have ever done it. Felipe Andrew continuing to try to look for that pass on top. Look at that grip that Andrew has with his right hand. Yeah, that is making things very yeah. uncomfortable for Adam. Right behind the back there, in the small of the back. It's not at the tip of the collar or lapel, it's like the middle of the back there. There's Lucas Leitch. Coaching his student here. I've seen a lot of this leg weave passing recently. Super effective way to pass the guard. You can eventually go to the mount. If he can beat this left left hand frame of Adam Wardzinski. Felipe adjusting that grip, making it tighter, deeper around the back. Adam trying to do whatever he can to create some space, but Felipe just such good position here, and he's going to try and go to the mount. Makes the transition to the mount. Felipe showing kind of like a, a new style of passing, unlike he's, he did in his earlier matches where he was a lot higher and kind of more movement based. This was all pressure passing from Felipe Andrew. Yeah, we did see him get a cross choke from the mount earlier today. We'll see if he tries to go for that attack. He is up seven points, three for the pass, four for the mount. Also up an advantage for that near pass attempt earlier on. Trying to feed the lapel again. Nice escape from Adam Wardzinski to get to top position. Still inside of Felipe Andrews' close guard, but avoids that dangerous mount position where Felipe has been so effective for submitting from there. Five minutes, 30 seconds left in this match. Felipe Andrew, Adam Wardzinski. Andrew up seven to nothing. Wardzinski in the close guard of Felipe Andrew. And this is where Felipe can get really dangerous. 
Once there's disconnection made, he shoots up those triangles, uses the opportunity to sweep to come back up on top, gets another two points. Yeah, I think Adam recognized the danger there. Didn't want any part of it. Felipe uses that yeah. to sweep. Uses that shallow lasso, shoots the triangle, but then opted to use it to sweep instead. Now here's what I was talking about. Felipe likes to kind of step in and out, pass. A lot more movement-based passing than we saw him execute against Wojcicki earlier on in the match. Felipe up nine points with about four minutes and 35 seconds left in this heavyweight final. Did have two submissions leading into this match. And really taking it to Adam Wardzinski here. Adam has also looked incredible, the 2023 Pans. Had some great matches in the open, and of course some great matches in the heavyweight division. Nice little long step by Felipe. Wardzinski scooting forward. Is that reverse the Heva grip setup. Now trying to lasso two on one. He's got a great half guard sweep from this position. There it is. Nice little tilt to the side. We saw him hit that yesterday. That was, uh, you know, even if he wasn't able to sweep, he was able to get close enough to get collar sleeve now. But Andrew shooting that arm all the way around the head, closing the distance, and now back to that pressure passing that we saw earlier on. wartinski has got the butterfly hook. Look for him to sweep as Adam Wartinski nice. does. Beautiful sweep by Adam Wartinski. That is his bread and butter. He's on top now. And he's going to try to knee cut here this, against Felipe Andrew. And in, in this position, this could change the match entirely. He's got a knee cut position. He's got the collar. If he could pass that knee through or even try to work a Bravo from this position, he could win this match. Yeah, three minutes left. Plenty of time to work. Trying to slide that foot out of Felipe Andrew's half guard. Felipe doing a good job with that grip with his left hand on Adam's knee. That's helping him stay on his side. And you can see Adam gripping Felipe's sleeve. He's going to try and break that grip and go forward. Nice job by Felipe coming up to his knees. We'll see if Adam's able to try to attack the back. Adam with the collar. Pulls him back down. Nice Felipe is spinning out. Felipe. Wow. <laughs> Gets right back to his guard. And he is still up seven points with 2.30 left in this heavyweight final. Felipe trying to get his hips down towards the mat. Doesn't want to absorb any of this pressure from Adam Wardzinski. Gets to the close guard. And they will reset the center of the mat. Two minutes and ten seconds left in this heavyweight final. Felipe Andrew up seven points. It's nine to two. They each have one advantage. Felipe looking for his second heavyweight gold medal at a major championship in 2023. Won the Europeans a couple months ago in Paris, France, and has looked incredible since dropping down to heavyweight. Two minutes, 10 seconds left in this match. Felipe Andrew up nine to two against Adam Wardzinski. Wardzinski standing up, trying to separate the legs there. Getting that knee in. Felipe foot in the bicep, trying to sweep Wardzinski back. Using that to make space. Coming up on the single. Is nice Felipe, work from Felipe yeah. Andrew finishes but, the sweep. But right into a butterfly guard. Wardzinski's got a prime position here to sweep, but nice beautiful sweep job. by Adam Wardzinski. Couple of butterfly sweeps in this match. And he's right back into that knee cut pass. With a minute and a half to go. But look at Felipe's left hand. He's got that grip on the knee. I think that saved him from this pass not too long ago. Adam was able to free his leg, but Felipe got up to his knees. Let's see if Adam can make up this point differential. He's trying to go straight to the mount. You can hear Lucas Leitch coaching him. 
go to the mount. He's gonna need those points. Putting yeah, the pressure but, on Felipe Andrew. But even mounting at this point, he has no choice but to go for submission. He cannot be content with that. The math just doesn't add up. He's got 47 seconds. He's trying to wedge his foot by bringing the opposite foot in. He's trying to get out. There he goes. And he goes to pass the mount. He gets the mount. Beautiful stuff from Adam Wojcicki. Three for the pass, four for the mount. My math was incorrect. He's yeah, going to tie it. He's going to be 11 up, to 11. Left. Oh my gosh. Adam Wojcicki just tied it up. 11 to 11. One advantage each. He can win this match, Daniel Dono. What a crazy end to this match. Adam Wojcicki was behind the whole time. Uses those butterfly guard sweeps. Passes right to the mount. It's 11 points apiece. 10 seconds left. Adam in mount. He needs to try to... Go for a submission. He's got the hand of the collar. He's, the he's going grip. for the submission. He's going for it. Last seconds of the Let's match. See if he gets the advantage for it. What a match. Amazing. And he gets the advantage. Adam Wojcicki. Adam Wojcicki. Oh my goodness. Pulls off the incredible comeback. 11 points apiece. Gets the advantage for the cross collar choke from the mount. Right at the very end. Ricardo, that was incredible. That was insane. What a comeback. Adam Wardzinski has just won. The crowd here in Kissimmee, Florida loves it. Adam Wardzinski. In the last minute of the, of the match, gets the sweep. Passes straight to the mount. There it is, Adam Wojcicki. What a finish. Adam Wojcicki is your 2023 Pan Heavyweight Champion. What a comeback for the Czech Matt Black Belt from Poland. Incredible stuff. When all the chips were down, the butterfly guard is what saved the day, and he used it to get on top twice, eventually getting to the mount. It was amazing. He was trying yeah. to pass to the side control. You hear, you hear Lucas Leach in the corner. Pass to the pass mount. The pass to the mount. Pass to the mount. Yep. And he does it. We got to look at this replay. Felipe Andrew passes to the mount early in the match. Scores seven points. Goes for that long step. Felipe Andrew at one point up 9-0. Yeah, it was. It looked certain that Felipe was going to win. But this once was he that first butterfly guard sweep. Sorry, Ricardo. No worries. Here's that escape. Second sweep from Adam Wardzinski. Passes to the mount. And in the very last few seconds, goes for that cross choke from the mount. That got him the advantage as time expired. 2023 adult male black belt heavyweight champion, Adam Wardzinski. Adam Wardzinski is your heavyweight champion here at the 2023 PANS. One of the best comebacks in a black belt final. That was amazing. I've seen in a while. <laughs>